Welcome to my apartment. It's the Gwen and God DJ Self. Uh, today, I got 4-1 in the building. God, God, God we outside. Outside, man. That's what's Everything up. Listen, nice. first of all, thank y'all for coming to my crib. Thank you, You know bro. what I mean? You know, I, 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 a lot of times I don't like too many people coming to my crib, but mm-hmm. it's all good, man. My, my crib became a public place now. Oh, no, you know what I'm saying? Sh- my shit not no public place. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I like to like be alone in my shit. <laughs> uh, first of all, I just saw you just got like your own crib and stuff like that, yeah, right? That's a fact. Congratulations You're on looking, that. Brother, you know I what I'm saying? You, uh, did you kill something yet in there? I, I don't even know, man. <laughs> you know, you yeah, gotta bless the crib, know. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Allegedly. What happens in the crib stays stay in the crib, in the right? Crib. No, what happened in the crib never happened. Yeah, that's How a fact. How about that? I like Hello? That. I like that. Yeah, shit. never happened. What are you talking about? It ain't happened. That's, that's, what <laughs> that's what's up. So, just first off, let everybody introduce themselves. Tata, you know, for me, baby, the shit, I'm the heart of this shit. I need to know shop. I was KO the G, man. General, you were. It was Jen Carter answer. That's what's up. I see you got the Popeyes. You tried the um, the uh, the strawberry biscuit. I don't know. Strawberry biscuit hard. I'm telling you. Listen. That's fire. Yeah, it is. Like next time you go there, right? I don't know for some reason it, it come in like this its own little cup. Cup? Yeah, that shit come yeah. in like its own like package. <laughs> yeah. I never really yeah. You like, never tried yeah, that yet? It's a you don't strawberry some Popeyes? biscuit. Uh, nah, it's a straw. It's a straw. It's a strawberry, it's a strawberry like the strawberry stuff in the biscuit with some like some sugar stuff on top of it and all. Like that. a donut. Nah, not like a. I don't know it's like what it's a called. Bread. Yeah, like a yeah, yeah something strawberry like that. Bread. Some new stuff. I'm gonna try. take it out of my kitchen too, man. We're gonna try some food <laughs> and stuff. We're gonna do all that, man. All right. I got <laughs> that. I got so that. listen, tell me how this four one thing started, and how where did you come up with the name four one? Like, help me out. You know what I'm saying? I'm like the older uncle, man. Y'all gotta help me out, man. Uncle <laughs> self. Y'all call me uncle <laughs> self. I'm cool with that. All right. So, <laughs> well, for me, bro came up with that shit for real. Uh huh. Feel me? Then we all like linked up. Then, how you? How did you come up with it? Like you just was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? One one time, it's four chicks and it's one of me. Like how? <laughs> I'm confused. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. It really standing for 41 ways to get paid. For me, I was, I was the shit that we was promoting back then. For uh-huh. me, we really started off like as like a little movement, a little Facebook group type shit. For mm-hmm. me, we used to be collab with other groups. For me, it was a whole bunch of little shit. But for me, we elevated from there, and now we are where we are right now. And then you just spread it to everybody? Oh, yeah. Now this shit is global. Shit is a real movie. <laughs> I'm not a gangster. We was just what... on Facebook. It wasn't really no Facebook shit, because that's what niggas be saying. Like, we was dead eyes, just made some shit. Mm-hmm. And then we really started, we started rapping and shit, making music. And then we started, like, for me, that shit started going out. So fair. How did y'all meet each other? Like, um, um, like, relationship through relationship. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh-huh. For me. KO's so you didn't grow up with each other? Yeah, no. Nah, KO been my brother since young. For me, a few of the four one members been my brother since young. Yeah, they grew up together. You know what I'm trying okay. to say? Tata also grew up with D-Bills. D-Bills, yeah. So, mm-hmm. you know, for me, KO grew up with D-Bills, and that's how the Tata came Everybody came up together. Right here, so Cause they, every every time they, they we talk about y'all, they say y'all similar to like a Wu-Tang, and you know, like everybody. everybody, everybody say that. Yeah. They say that a lot, right? Somebody yeah, just that, told me that last night. Yeah, that's what yeah, yeah, so it's like, <laughs> I, and I don't know if y'all know like the history of Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang, it was like, it's just a whole bunch of solo artists that came together, you know, to one, they all, most of them primarily is from Staten Island or had some type of roots in Staten Island. And, you know, even now, like Staten Island is not like the popular borough in New York City. Um, you know what I'm saying? So they all came together, you know, to, to, to make this hip hop thing happen. And then they all were solo artists. They wound up getting their own solo deals and stuff like that. So I guess that's why people... Um, you know, like compare y'all to them. Y'all all solo yeah, that's artists, That's a compliment, right? though. Yeah, that shit fire. Yeah. Oh, they was one of the biggest, yeah. if not the legendary. biggest hip hop mm-hmm. groups. Legendary. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, legendary fact. groups. I, do y'all know any Wu Tang songs? No, I don't nah. Nah. Y'all know about Old Dirty Bastard, though. Oh yeah. Dirty <laughs> Yeah, I know. Him. Yeah, you know ODB. I know ODB. That's a fact. Yeah, you know. know Rest I, in I, peace, I know, ODB. I know RZA. A lot of people compare me to RZA. The RZA. I don't okay. Know so RZA, RZA was like the 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 mastermind, and they call him the Abbot. Like the, the mastermind, and he was the one that put all the plays and everything together. You know what I'm saying? And to some people, he was like the most intelligent one out of the crew and the more intellectual one. You know what I'm saying? So to me, that might be a a, a, a super compliment. I also heard that you, 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 like this whole thing really started from you. Nah, yeah. I right? Did, yeah, I started this shit. I ain't gonna lie. So you you like the abbot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, you you the you the the the, the, the roots of everything. Yeah, that's a what problem. what what made you say, you know what, you know, instead of being selfish 
and and doing things all by yourself. Yo, let me just you know come through with the whole the whole crew. Good question. That's just my heart, man. Dang, Say it again. That's just my heart. Like I got a uh -huh. big heart. I always had a big heart. Feel me? I want to see everybody win. It's not gonna stop. Is that legend true that like um, even with y'all signing the deal, the deal was primarily for you? And then you was like, you know, nah, or, you know, you said, let me make sure my, my homies is good, you know, straight first. Is that legend true, or how did that happen? I mean, yeah, like, for me, like, for me, because like, I was, like, the first to blow up to shit, so for me, all the labels, they really wanted me. But for me, me and my son and father had a talk, for me, and we we decided that we wanted the whole, we was going to go jack any, any label taking us unless they took everybody. So mm -hmm. we ended up signing a group there. And then we wasting right, order man. too. I mean, we got more. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. how, how did that come? Like, did they approach you, or like, you know, what separated you from everybody else? Also, at the time. Who me? Yeah. I mean, like for me, I was just like the biggest, like statistically for me, I was doing the most numbers and shit. So for me, obviously, they was gonna come to me. But it wasn't just me. Like we came as a group. So for me, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess it was a hand and that. It was crazy how niggas did that shit, though, because they was only calling bro, and then, like, once we figured out we was going to do the group shit, we all started, like, going up more, and then they started calling, like, all of us. Like, for everybody. All, yeah, they started wanting everybody, for me, and we just did what made the most sense. Mm -hmm. So so has has all of y'all lives changed since getting the deal? Of course. How did it change? Uh, for me, this shit, like, we thought it was, like, lit before, bro. This shit is, like, where we at, bro? It's really... It's so it's really work for me, bro. Like, it's so much more and higher we can get, bro. Like, this shit is crazy. Like, you'll get around. Niggas think we got money and shit. You get around a real nigga with money. You, you really realize <laughs> you don't got enough money, you heard. You niggas still got a long Well, way give me an home. example like, so so I could understand. Like, you you saying, like, somebody who really got some bread or something like that. Like, just being around different people. Like, okay. I done seen a lot of shit. Like, going to, going to different places, feel me, out to stay. You just see a lot, bro. And you realize, like, feel me, you think you, feel me, you, it's, it's a lot more work to go for this shit, bro. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. What places that have y'all been and y'all didn't think that you know that they knew who y'all was at the way y'all was at? Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. What they was in Atlanta? I'm. I'm. I mean, that's like everywhere I go. To be honest, I just be assuming people mm -hmm. might not listen to my music from here. Like besides New York, obviously, because for me that's where it got founded. I just be surprised when I go to other states. Every time I be surprised I go to other states and somebody knows. Uh, yeah, me. everywhere mm -hmm. we really went, they, somebody knew. Yeah, somebody knew every time. Yeah, somebody. Oh, like, I never really know. just expected it to be like as quickly as it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a fact. Yeah. Do you feel it's harder for you being a female yeah. in the group? Yeah. What's What's the hard part? We men, we don't know. Like you know, sometimes you got you know they may not know. They may not even pay attention. Yeah. Um. First of all, sometimes with this shit, you get overlooked. You know what I'm trying to say? Because like, mm -hmm. they compare me to them a lot. And off rip, sometimes... Compare you to them? Yeah, so uh -huh. so, so it's like off rip, sometimes they can, they don't even tell. They're not able to tell I'm a girl. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, now it's like, oh, like, I'm competing with them. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, it's like, oh, she's... She's just like one of them. They don't really pay too much close attention. Is that frustrated? Yeah, it's been frustrated. Uh -huh. I'm still dealing with it. Okay. <laughs> you know I mean? But that only pushed me to go harder. So I've been trying for me. I'm going to get there real soon. I feel it coming. <laughs> so how, how does, you, does you being a female change the way you rap, especially with them and your music? Uh, like, you can ask that question better. So meaning... Let's say now um, you may feel like you may have to talk to the females more than talk to the males. So, do that change the way you rap? Yeah, sometimes, like, I mean, I really haven't, like, released music specifically talking directly to the females. You know, for me, I just haven't gotten the chance to. But I don't really stem into that, you know, area too much ever since I started rapping, you know, naturally, because I've just been rapping with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? So the songs we have out is like topic wise. I do got songs. With so you got that in the tuck. You ready yeah, for that? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, on your yeah, solo yeah. joint. Uh -huh. It's not even only about female. It's just about what I've been going through for me. Like what I deal with with this rap and shit for me. What's been on my mind all that. Mm. Do, do you think you get privileges being a female? Hell fucking no. No? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, some, you really like think you would really think I do. But for me, 
sometimes niggas just don't really like see the potential like too quickly when it get to me. So for me, but I've been through that. So mm-hmm. I just be doing what I do. Whoever appreciate it, gonna appreciate it. See me? That's what's up, man. Wise is only. I hear that. That's what's up. Y'all from Brooklyn. Yeah. What part of Brooklyn? Brownsville. Brownsville, number one, number one. Oh, y'all from the Ville? Yeah, I mean, I grew up in the Ville, but mainly from East New York. Okay. What part of Brownsville? I'm from over (laughs) here. For me, I'm from that side, man. (laughs) (laughs) Nigga said that side. I'm from that side. So, right? So, even me, but I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from downtown, though, right? And, And growing up, it's always... It's always like the two hoods that you like, yo, you don't mess with somebody from Brownsville, East New York. Like there was like, you know, it's like it's like hard living and stuff. And, and you know, um, even me growing up, I used to dabble in and chill in Brownsville and Cephalo a lot. Right. And and I do used to see a difference. You understand what I'm saying? So did do, do that. You growing up in Brownsville um, of reflecting your music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For me, rap what you see, bro. You rap what you live about, bro. For mm-hmm. me, the drill shit, for me, that's in Brownsville, bro. Well, that shit happened for me. That, that shit for me, like, we, what we used to, for me, what we were seeing growing up and shit is really what we was rapping, bro. Niggas gangsta. really used to struggle, bro. Like, gangsta. Niggas always With this know. shit, like, for me, niggas remember selling bottles of water on the street just to get some some, some bread, bro. Shit you know like I'm trying that. To say, so. Selling a water, bottles of water? Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, I ain't saying me, so I'm just saying. Ain't nothing wrong with selling bottles of water. I don't know what ain't nothing. Okay, you know all right, all right. I'm just saying, for me. But it's shit like that that niggas had to go through growing up, and, and niggas, like, for me, mm-hmm. places like that, especially for me having parents that wouldn't give you, you know, everything, like, didn't spoil you because of the neighborhood you from, like, shit. Mm-hmm. They had a lot to deal of with already. Be they be like, oh, I've been through all of this for me. I ain't have it the best, bro. But my mom made it work, you heard? Like, okay. I couldn't get a lot of shit, but my mom definitely made it work. Well, shout bro. to your mom, you would say to- Shout out, sh- Ma, I love you, you heard? <laughs> but yeah, she made it work. I couldn't get everything for me. It was a lot of shit. I, I definitely didn't struggle, though. I'm not going to say I, for me, I struggled for me. Franks and Beans, you know, mm-hmm. like, well, I struggled with shit. Pause, you cut the Franks up? Oh, was this? Nah, yeah, I cut the front. Yeah, okay. Never, yeah. never, 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 nah, never that. No, nah, say pause. That's what I said, pause. Yeah, you know, yeah. just in case. Cut nah, up. listen. Trust me. You know, again, we all we all had it. You talk about the, like pork and beans, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nah, it's cool. Don't worry. I'm saying pause that on that. That was that good shit. That shit yeah, was Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, for me, but mommy made it work, though, bro. Yeah, yeah that was the stuff, man. I used to have bologna sandwiches. I had to fry them and then the bologna curl up. No, nah, I never ate it. You never had that? No. Oh, okay. You got to try that one time. You got to take it back sometime. Not yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now y'all come y'all came with an EP. Right? This what? is an EP. It's a compilation. A compilation EP, right? It was well, like yeah, well, six I, songs or something like that. How many songs was on there? Four or six? I don't know. It was like ten like twelve tapes. Like it was like it was it's like twelve like songs? One, it was like one new song, but like every week we're gonna be adding a new song. Like we just oh, we, Okay. That's not really like the real album. Like that was just something where like like they could find all of our music in one place out. Understood. Like all the music was spread it out for me. Now, like, oh, it's 14 songs. Yeah, when you search for Y'all keep up, putting up more songs? I, it wasn't 14 before, but all right, it's yeah. 14 songs. All right, go ahead. New song every week. When you search for one up now, that's where you can find, like, all of our main songs. Like, so mm-hmm. Because I know that um, sometimes people get confused when they put 4-1. They can't find everything yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. So so it was like, yo, let me just put this out so people can catch it, find yeah. us and stuff like that. When you search for one you find it now. Okay, so I do see I do see C Red on there, and a lot of people tell me that's one of their favorite joints. I don't yeah. know, like what's what's like the biggest record that y'all perform, and it's like wow, everybody know this. She C Red, Red, Deuce, and Deuce. Oh, those two songs right there. Yeah, uh-huh. it was wacky. My when TJ brought us out and they knew that shit, that shit was crazy. Oh uh, yeah, shout out to TJ man. Yeah, that shit was wacky. They that knew that shit. That shit was that motivational. Shit was Who else in in this game so far showed y'all guys love? Favi, shout out Favi. Favi, uh-huh. Me and him yeah. got some other shit that's about to drop, too. Asian Doll, she showed us Asian love Doll. for me. Favio, Lil TJ, uh, a couple more. I can't really think off the top of my head, too. Mm-hmm. Too rare. Yeah. Nah. Is there any anybody who, who surprised y'all and was like, oh, snap. You know, like, oh, you know. We done at Quavo in fucking L.A. Well, they did a TikTok to my song. So I heard that, right? So the, the, how did that feel? Like when you, you make a you you make something and it's just y'all guys making something and then you see it it, it spread like wildfire. What you mean? Nah, Meaning y'all make something and it's like wow, people really get it or oh, yeah, you know yeah. people loving it. Yeah, for me, 
And they, mm-hmm. everybody say, yo, about, you though, put something me? out, four one put something out, it go it go crazy on TikTok. That's yeah. what it's about. That's we that's do about. this shit for the fans, so for mm-hmm. me, when you see shit like that, it just motivates us to go harder. I'm just as happy as they are. Okay. That's a fact. Uh-huh. My fan, like, my supporters is like my friends, bro. I dead eyes be, like, talking to them and shit. That's so funny. And like, Bro, if you DM me, I'm gonna answer that shit. Like, I see all my DMs, bro. Right, I see all my DMs, bro. <laughs> like, a lot of rap niggas be capping. Right, they right? They do look at this stuff, right? Bro, them niggas see their DMs, bro. I definitely see all my DMs. I be replying sometimes, but just don't say no dumb shit to me, and I'm not gonna reply. For me. <laughs> <Can't stand. laughs> I, I be seeing mad dumb shit in my, in my fucking inbox. I fake be killing niggas sometimes. I ain't Where am I then? When I got if the I'm time, in that mood, I'm gonna argue with you. Yeah, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> you get your shit, if it's that day, bro, I'm gonna argue with you, bro. That's a fact. <laughs> no, not most, of, not, not most of the time, though. You gotta catch me on a good day. We argue with you. Uh huh. What's What's the next plans for for you guys? Is it to put out a solo, or is it to um, continue and put out? You know. Well, we got for me. We're gonna be adding a new track to the compilation every, every week. week for me. So it's a new song every week. Until That's the album ready to drop, bro. The yeah. album, the album of, of you guys together. Yeah. yeah. So this is this is just like an appetizer so for sure. the real for the real Price. for the real deal. That's a oh, yeah. It wasn't mm-hmm. really for me. It's a big deal, but the bigger deal is coming. All for one, one for all. That's the real album coming soon. That's a fact. That's gonna be some legend shit. Like, I'm not even ready for that. Legendary shit. Huh. Very ready, my dad. That's going on the books. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody that y'all tried to reach out to that um, that y- you know maybe y'all haven't gotten to yet, and it's like yo, you know we we need him on this project or them on the project? No, not really. Like we didn't really reach out to nobody. Okay. Like, all the shit that we be like, all the like for me people that we be linking up with, that should be coming like the us. Like they be hitting us, bro. For me, and we just for me whoever we jack, that's what we really like for me. Go mm-hmm. do music with. I, for I me heard you like a big Nicki Minaj fan. Yeah, gang so. I fuck with Nicki. She inspired me to rap the way I do. Uh huh. Yeah. Did you think that you on her radar yet? Shit, I should be. Okay. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> see that I or she acting blonde. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause I think she. Well, y'all on the same probably, label too, yeah, right? So I was about to say that we're on the same label, so uh huh. Maybe she got to open her eyes a little bit. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. So so now, now um, there's other guys that's down with with the movement, correct? Yeah. And who's this? It's a couple of D Bills, J Gelato for the uh-huh. Shout out Star Boy. Shout out J Star. I mean, it's a lot of us, bro. Oh uh, yeah, it's a lot of us. Shout out Jai Wu, shoot, bro. All the that's members for me. It's so how, how do y'all balance like making sure everybody good? Bro, everybody be Gucci, bro. I mean, it's a family at the end of the day. For me, we all want to see each other win. Mm-hmm. And our niggas is not no for me niggas who just gonna wait for us to do shit for themselves. For me, they they everybody all got their own, own motion. They all got their own motion, bro. That's mm-hmm. a fact. So even if for me, they for me if we would if, for me if we not giving them nothing, they gonna get that shit themselves. But they gonna be Gucci with or without us, bro. To be honest, mm-hmm. fact. Y'all all got like ice and stuff. And what was what was your first job? <laughs> Uh, I don't even remember. You don't remember? Um, I mean, I did SYEP, and while uh-huh. I was in school, that counted as a job. Right? I always okay. wanted to <laughs> What was your first job? I never had a job. No, okay. Me too, bro. I never even been to a job interview. Nothing. Yeah, me too. So you didn't even know how to fill out an application, none of that? Nah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just, I don't like the idea of working for somebody else. I like to work for myself. Work for yourself? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Y'all never had no type, no McDonald's, nothing? nothing. I don't know. Nothing? Nah, <laughs> my mom, my mom told me get up and go get a job in high school, bro. Uh, cause uh-huh. She ain't give me like allowance in the morning, bro. She wanted me to earn my money myself, so I had to fill out mad applications. Uh-huh. And I finally got SYEP, which was like basically free. So, uh huh. And then I worked at SYEP, worked with the kids for me. <laughs> Did that uh-huh. for like a one summer. <laughs> a couple. So. Yeah, I never had no job, bro. Not at all. That's I, crazy. I never even worked SYEP. I got accepted. Every time I fucking, <laughs> I got accepted every single time, but I just never went to that shit. Damn, yeah, they I, kept I had double my shit. I don't know why. Nah, they ain't double my shit. I just didn't go. I just go. kept getting dope. I said, fuck it. I was trapping. So that's summer youth program, just in case, right? Yeah. Was it summer youth, just in case anybody paying attention, you know, don't know what that is, summer youth. I think I did summer youth when I was young, too. That's just like the little summer joint. 
and they gave you some money and stuff like that. Mm. Shout out to them though. That's a, that's a nice money, man. Yeah, Especially if you got right. a cool boss that don't care, just sign the paperwork and let you rock. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I bro, it was it was a lot of money to me at the time. It was like one band over the whole summer. Okay. <laughs> that was so much money to me. That, that was and a lot. I was used to balling. That shit. I was <laughs> balling. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, used to <laughs> work for that shit. So I had one man for the summer. That's crazy, bro. Exactly. Like, that, what am I want to I think it's because I, I was under 16 when so I got uh-huh. Now I'm running through bands in a day. Like. <laughs> Yo, that shit is walking out. It's crazy how much crazy. you appreciate money, bro. Back that's that's fuck. Dad, I used to appreciate money so much. Yo, like. $1,000 was like the world to me, bro. Son, that shit just goes so fast. I What'd you spend on a thousand dollars? Is still the world. A thousand dollars is still the world to me right now, though. Okay. Because I remember how I feel when I have nothing, nigga. A nigga give me a thousand dollars right now, I'd be happy as hell. Uh huh. Well, what do you spend, Kyle? What you spend on a on, thousand on dollars in a day on? Niggas got bills. I just okay. paid my rent last night. Okay. For me, I'm about to get my car. It's first a of the month. Shit, yeah, first bro. of the month. The rent comes. Yeah, hello. They want that bread. Life is that expensive, bro. Mad expensive. Especially when you want to live a happy, good, fun life. That shit is expensive, bro. Mm-hmm. That shit adds up, bro. Like, that shit that add up. You thinking for me all this shit. Like, you look at your account. Like, what the fuck did I even So do you look at it now and say, damn, maybe I should stay with my moms a little longer? Nah, how? No? Man. So what's the difference now between living at home with your parents and living on by your, by yourself? Like, mm. for me, it's teaching me more responsibilities and how to really, like, grow up and be a young man for me. And, like, take care. Because for me, I got to take care of myself for me. I, my mom is just hustling for me. She's going to get, get it by herself. But I take care of my mom. It's just, it's, it's like teaching me how to grow up for me. It's growing me up faster for me. Mm-hmm. I like it, though. Kyle, you like it, too? Or you rather just go back home, save some money? Oh, hell no. <laughs> like, I, I love my moms for me. Uh-huh. I love my family, but at the end of the day for me, I like my independence. I like being by myself. Well, what's me. different living by yourself than I mean, living like, at home? I just, like, for me, just more foundation for me. I don't know, bro. It's just a different vibe, different feeling for me. I could get my shit together. I don't know, bro. Do it, no. Is it messed up with y'all now? It's like, damn, I got to do the dishes. I got to clean the toilet myself. You know I better stop doing all that shit. I ain't going to front. Nah, mo- moving out, I feel like her, it took a weight off my mom's shoulders, probably. She probably built me up to do this shit. Now that I could just live on my own, be able to take care of myself. Right. I mean, I'm not saying that she don't got to worry about me, because she still worry about me every single day, mm-hmm. you know what I'm trying to say? But at least now, for me, I could feed myself, do all that other shit for me. Get to where I got to go, for me, handle my business without, for me. Is it hard that now y'all crib is like the, the hangout crib or something? No, no. Okay. Okay. it was yeah. never the hangout. It was never that type of Never. Okay. okay. That's the funny part. Nah. Yeah, that's the funny part. It's never even the hangout. It's never the hangout crib. We don't even um, hang out there yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> nah, I'm in my shit every day. Okay. <laughs> I love my house, bro. I'd rather be there every day, bro. For me, it's, my shit is away. Woods. For me, coyotes and shit running around. Uh-huh. Leave me alone, bro. But nobody, <laughs> none of the homies calling up like, yo, let's go to your crib. You got the free crib. No, no, no. Let me bring a shorty Ty-ty's over there. You got an extra room. Not for me, my bros. Like, not everybody be in my shit, though. Like, it don't be 10 niggas at my shit at one time. Okay. It be like, for me, two of the bros, three of the bros at most. Not everybody. Uh-huh. For me, because I got an extra room. The bros want to come for me. I want to get out the hood, feel me? I don't want y'all in the hood. Anyway, bro, go with some extra room, bro. For me, y'all doing dumb shit in the hood, bro. Just come stay with me. Y'all sturdy, bro. But for me, not the hangout crib. You can't smoke in my crib. You got to take your shoes off at the front, for me? Mm. It's not that type of party. No, yeah. No smoking, <laughs> smoking, I can't do that. No smoking in the crib. No, I'm blowing it down on my shit. <laughs> oh, you can smoke in your crib? Oh, yeah. He okay. can smoke in his I can smoke in my crib, too. He but just don't want don't to. Don't smoke in my crib, bro. Go on the balcony, bro. Uh-huh. I, I, for me, niggas don't even be valid on the balcony. I told niggas to go in their car, like, go on the V and smoke. <laughs> niggas bro. said go all the way downstairs. <laughs> go back go in the car and smoke. smoke. <laughs> Do not smoke nowhere near my shit, bro. Nah, bro. That type of party. Nah. Has it ever been a time where y'all, y'all all went on like a triple date together? Like, yo, I got this, I got this, and y'all all went out together and it took took dates, went on dates? I think when we got paid. <laughs> huh? Hey, we, that, you mean just us three? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Y'all got one, I got one, I got one. And I don't want to go on dates with nobody else. I be going on dates just... Solo? Yeah, no, no, no. That's that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Ain't never been a time where y'all had a crew or nothing like that. I mean... I, mean, we, we, I think I went on a I date go with shopping. Everybody. I think everybody. I went on a date with Vic Rowe before. I don't know about definitely. a date. I get out and remember. <laughs> oh, he was killing him for a oh, oh, while. Wow. I don't know if he's still killing him now. I, I got to look at his... Nah, I, I got to do his real... He slowed down? Yeah, he slowed down. Okay, all right, all right. What you were saying? 
Uh, like what you mean by like? That, that, so like, you never, you never like went, went out, out to eat or like a, a yeah. I you mean, know what I'm saying? Movie, out to eat, anything. I mean, we a family, but we go out Not to together. Go to I'm home, talking about like on a date with somebody that at the end of the night, you trying to, to you know Ooh. what I'm saying? Like, I'm, yeah, I'm so confused on this question. Like, you asking me if I've been on a date. Not with them. No, I'm not saying. No, you, that's what I'm saying. You asking me if I've ever been on a date. A, 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 a double date, triple date. Like, you that's what I mean. You with bitches? Huh? Like a two man? You asking about a two yeah. man? Yeah. Like a two man. When I go on two minutes with Jen, this nigga just, I don't know, he be on, some, he be on his door. Oh, so y'all two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, that's yeah. what I'm asking. Right. He got a bitch, so he just yeah. be in the crib. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, he a lover boy. <laughs> he kissing the mouth. Nah, yeah. Yeah, he do. <laughs> Tasha don't even want to do double dates with us. He like, do? Nah, I don't know, bro. It's not that tip. When I take a girl out for me, me and her for me, nah, nobody else needs Nobody else? <laughs> yeah. He want to fall in love. So y'all got like a plan together? Like y'all be like, ah, right, yo, listen, this is what we going to do. After this, boom, boom, boom. That'd be so funny, bro. Nah, because listen, me and my homie sometimes, we, you know, we like, all right, listen, you know, the, the, the key is is separate. You know what I'm saying? When you se- after a while you separate, you know it's going down. You understand what I'm saying? Together, it's not going nah, down. We've been doing this shit, though. Okay, so, so y'all I, already know. natural, for me? Uh-huh. This uh-huh. shit just becoming natural. I ain't going to lie. You know bitches, they, they be feeding, bro. I ain't going to lie. I have my fun, but I think I've seen enough of the bitches, bro. I'm tired. I'm, I, I, I done seen, I done seen the bitches. I done seen how the bro, bitches. how did you see enough of the bitches, bro? Bro, I done seen. Bro, bro you're not even 20. I, yeah. I, I, done seen, I, done, I done seen some bad bitches, bro. Mm-hmm. I've been seeing how they get. But did you I, fuck some I bad know bitches? The bitches. <laughs> no, nigga, you got mad life to go, bro. He's you even know what you're talking about right now. You can't nigga said he's don't happy, bro. Uh, I've seen enough of the bitches, bro. Uh-huh. It's, it's not as fun as, as it used to be, bro. So do you have, but you ever took his advice and like, yo, just explore. You know, ne- you know, you never know. I like female energy, though. I like being around females, bro. Okay. I don't like being around a bunch of niggas all day. Mm-hmm. I like bitches, bro. Well, around, do you get them? Do you get them? Do you get them like advice like, yo, listen, when y'all go out, blah, blah, blah. Like where to take the bitches too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like you telling them the spots? I know the spot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like female energy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and the females is going crazy right now, too. They like taking over a lot, bro. You talking about in, 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 in hip hop? No, in the world. Oh, bro. period. Tell yeah. me why. Tell me how and why. Like with the basketball, bro. For me, the basketball shit. I seen them, um, them two girls is going crazy right with now. The, with the joint like this? Yeah, I seen like women, they, everybody paying attention, like the woman, the woman basketball now, like everybody paying attention to that. The female rappers is going crazy, bro. Like, shout out to females, bro. Sure. For me, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. Do she you feel like it's hard for up. you that now, like, all the females is, is like kind of like taking over and it's like, all right, you know, and even, even a lot of times now in, in New York, you know, they, they talking about Cola Ray, they talking about Cardi, they talking about uh, Lola now, and then sometimes you don't get mentioned. Do you feel like I, you know, I gotta get mentioned in those in, in that group? And if and and get mentioned in that group and getting mentioned first before all these all the mother females. No, nah, I don't care about getting mentioned first, bro. But I I like I do be wanting to get mentioned when it comes to like at least, you know, female drill specifically. I feel like um when it comes to this female drill rapping. Last year, it wasn't as popular as it is now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? And I really, you know, came out on this female drill rap and shit, and I've been going crazy ever since I first dropped my, you know, my shit. Like, I really stood out. And now it's just, it's, it's, mm-hmm. it is going crazy. And I feel like that's a good thing. Like, it make me feel good. Because now it's like, I'm not doing it alone anyways. You know what okay. I'm trying to say? Like, other girls just getting recognition too, and it's like, for me, a little bit of a friendly competition, maybe, you know what I'm trying to say. But Cardi B, you know what I'm trying to say, all those high on Nicki Minaj, all those, like, that's where I want to be. I don't mm-hmm. want to be seen as just a female drill rapper, you know what I'm trying to say. So, for me. What's your relationship with Murder B? I see y'all around Murder B a lot. Murder man, cool, bro. Mm-hmm. He's a lovable person. Yeah. You a politician. Man. I like, <laughs> man, politician right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Murder, I love yeah, she cool, man. man. Yeah, she cool, bro. <laughs> Fuck with Murder Heavy, bro. Her energy is like great. She like lifts the room. Mm-hmm. Facts. She mm-hmm. like me. When y'all do a song, how do y'all create it? Does somebody come with the idea? Y'all just come with the beat. Somebody find the beat. Who finds the beats? Who finds the ideas? The raps? How, how did that happen? For me, you just for me, we don't really be. For me, you just put on a beat. Like we be in the studio, a beat happen, and we all. No, 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 no. One person. I be finding the beats, cause you find the beats. 
Okay. I'll be finding it. The beat. Abbott. That is good. That's why mm-hmm. that's Rizzo used to find the beat. That's you understand what I'm saying? Or create the beats too. But go ahead, you find the beat. I wasn't creating them just like for me. I listen to a lot of music. So every night I'm just looking for beats. And I go to the studio every day. So mm-hmm. I'm always putting on a beat type shit for me and niggas just get on that shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, that's true, bro. Yeah, KR do got a good beat selection. Like he'll be in the studio, he'll play a beat. Not that be feeling the beat, but I just never knew where he would just find mm-hmm. those type of beats. But they were all like all like similar to the way he raps and all that shit. He'd be like, "Yo, Jen, get on this for me," or he'd be like, "You know, let's do this. Let's all do this track. Let's all do this beat for me." Yeah, for me, he put a lot of shit together. I ain't gonna lie. Who do y'all have like a, a chemistry of who go first, who go second, or is just let's put the beat on who go who? It's literally let's put the beat on. It's mm-hmm. natural for me. Yeah, it's yeah, natural. Go just first. be vibing. It's, it'd be the chemistry that matters. Okay. It's not even about who go first and all that other shit. Yeah. Yeah, so. All right, that's what's up. Y'all want to go in my kitchen and take some food? What yeah. you got? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. We're going to go in my kitchen now. Right? I like that. There you go. I see the smell. What you got? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I like to hear, baby. We're going to go to my hungry. kitchen. That's fine? Hi, All right, let's go to my man. kitchen, man. All right, we're going to go there. <laughs> Yeah, we in my kitchen. What y'all see? We in my kitchen right now. The, the, the Bootyos is Bootyos. wacky. What Bootyos. am I with? That's the first thing I seen. Where uh-huh. am I Pop Char Eggos was crazy. <laughs> Gangster. Fruity Pebble Fruity Pebble Syrup. Syrup. All right, so look, this one, oh, I, I want y'all to taste some of these too, right? Oh, baby so we can, taste, we can taste these. Now you talking, where you getting all this? We can taste these. Shit from, bro? This is my I kitchen, don't even, man. I don't know I if I want to taste the Eggo Pop-Tarts, bro. Eggo Pop, we can taste it. I don't got no toaster right here, though. I ain't get enough money to oh, get a toaster. Oh, this nigga got little baby That's what chips. I'm saying. <laughs> all right, so look, this is what we're going to do, right? I wanted y'all to taste, we gonna, we can taste the, the, the Eggo Pop-Tarts. But before I even taste, right, pause. So what's, what's your, like, favorite fast food? Pizza. Shake Shack. What you say? Pizza. Oh yeah, shit. Pizza. pizza. I love pizza. Just regular pizza. Like nah, pizza like my favorite food in the world. Like Pizza's I love pizza. pizza. It's like pizza and then it's like. But is there any like you know, just like Papa John's or just regular pizza the corner store? I like store? no, I like New York pizza though. Nah, that's like a fact. The, like New York pizza is different. Yeah. Hell yeah. Like what you mean? You ever had Chicago pizza yet? Nah, it's like oh, the, with the sauces like on top of the cheese with some rocky shit. Right? Nah, so, so, so like Chicago pizza be like mad thick. Yeah, it's like a it's, 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 it's like a pizza. pie or something like that. I think like thick pizza. Nah, but New York pizza is like the best, or the good yeah, slice of pizza. New so York when y'all pizza. go to the pizza shop, y'all order the, you order a slice of pizza. You put anything on it, garlic. Two slices. I put I get parmesan. I got pepperoni and the cheese. Put the little pepper on it for me. You ever tasted it with mustard on it? Cut it in oh, half. Nah, you wildin'. Nah, try it. Kid. I'm just nah, saying. I, I, so. eat nah, I used to put I used to put bacon and pineapples on my Domino's pizza. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. they call it? Hawaiian was, pizza or something like that, right? So I don't even know. Pineapples yeah, I think. don't belong on pizza. So it's all right. I cool. used to say that too, but I tasted it and it was all right. So now, so <laughs> we this is what I wanted y'all to taste, but you, you y'all seem like y'all like other stuff, right? That's fine. But so right here, I got cocoa pebbles, cinnamon. Uh, candy bar. Uh-huh. I want to see which one's the better out of the Cocoa Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles candy bar. I don't really like Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, Fruity Pebbles Pebble. birthday cake candy bar. I like birthday cakes. Nah, my head is buzzing right now. Then the milk chocolate Cocoa Pebbles candy I mean, bar. Yeah, that's the best one. Yeah, that's the best one. That's the best one. Yeah. That's the best one. Right? Then I also got, I don't know what this is, Kisa's Pista oh, uh, no. Snickers. That's a pistachio? Pistachio, that's what it is. Pistachio. Oh, no. Pistachio Snickers. And I don't know what this is. Butterscotch. butterscotch. I drank butterscotch. Butterscotch. So so now you you and you, you we wanna taste these? <laughs> I, I, I wanna make sure everybody gave what they taste. I wanna taste right, cool. the so first. I wanna taste the Fetty Wap joint. I wanna taste the first. You wanna taste the Fetty Wap joint? Well, this is a little baby joint, right? Oh, so this vinegar. one's called All In. Oh no. Nah. What is this salt and vinegar? This is salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Garlic. I don't know about garlic. Barbecue. Oh no, no. Wait, all in in one? Yeah, all in. Nah, I don't know. Yo, little baby joint. That shit might stink. It's all in. Shit might move. Nah. Open it up. I don't think I like that. Open it up. Nah, it's mad shit, like. <laughs> it just don't stop. Can I just keep <laughs> looking? It just don't <laughs> stop. You like, tried it yet? Salt and vinegar, barbecue, onion, garlic, oh, pepper, fruity pebble candy. candy. Fruit loose jelly beans box. High taste. They're not bad at all. And not bad? Me see. It's like salt, vinegar, barbecue, pepper. It's everything, bro. What you mean, everything? It's everything, bro. It's everything in one chip, like. Uh, nah, little baby, baby know what he, he do. He do. 
I ain't gonna lie. It's good. It's not hot. Nah, it's hot. That's what I'm saying. I'm t- I, every so, flavor. So every now, flavor is so really now, I, I want you when y'all when y'all go <laughs> home or look through your phone and you see Jim you Jones that? tasted it and Jim Jones was sweat. He could not take. He couldn't he take it. He was sweating. He was sweating. Yeah, he was sweating. <laughs> Bro, what? He couldn't take it. <laughs> he was sweating. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? trying to hold them shits for you. What? What do you mean? They fire. I yeah. jacked that shit. What yeah. the fuck? They put sure everything in one you. trip. Dead eyes. Let me get one trip. <laughs> no, you just. Nah, you said nah, my breath is gonna boof, nigga. Fuck. That shit's not gonna boof after this. Nah, it is. I need a split. What? That doesn't make. <laughs> Yo. That shit is that Yo, bro, eat the chip, bro. Why you eat late, though? <laughs> that shit is that fire, bro. You know that shit is. It's good. Yeah, that shit is what you doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the salt and vinegar oh, lays. It? It's the barbecue yeah. lays. They know what they doing. They I said that we, we try to. We try to. to Yo, they put everything hot, in one. Bro. I don't even. Jack it's getting hot now. Yo. Maybe that's why he was crying. I don't Yo, know. Yo, there you go. Yo, there you go. Yo, there you go. I was trying to like keep. I was trying to keep talking like you know. Why did it taste like that? But you got. It's like you got to keep eating it, or else it's like gonna. Yo, get that, bro. You're gonna feel it. Burn my tongue. I'm gonna feel it here if you like stop. I'm like, gonna eat so I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna wash it down with some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I'll, I'll give y'all back. I got one more bag. Y'all take it to go. Yeah, you wanna try this, this Eggo Pop Tarts? Okay. Oh, you want to? Oh, oh, you want? Oh, you messing with the? I don't the, think I want to try. Nah, you good? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yo, we good. Wow, nah. this all the pop tarts crazy. I want to try everything, man. All right, cool. You only live once. Yeah, you do. Yolo. Y'all gotta try it, bro. Now nah, I gotta see how weird it tastes. You're right. I don't really know. Nah, this shit is dumb hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I keep eating it, though, bro. Yeah. Well, listen, pause. Y'all taking it Y'all taking it better than Jim Jones Yo, this shit smell like <laughs> right? a waffle, bro. Where it's a hole. I knew it, bro. Where I see the waffle smell like a fucking pop tart, bro. Yo. Let Yo. me see. Yo, it smell like a waffle. <laughs> nah. Hold on, hold on. Let me. I'm about to get some syrup. We got syrup? We, we, we got this. We got this. Imagine. In it. Probably. Right, so, look. This This is uh, if, Jim Jones. If it tastes Jones like a waffle. Yeah, tastes the same thing that you got right here. So, this is Jim. It tastes like a waffle. Sounds to the mail. Uh, uh-huh. And all your splendor that will never touch you, that will never speak to it? you, that will never talk to you. He's sweating. This is different cold. Like you really could be a rich person. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he's just <laughs> going through it. He's <laughs> 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 sweating, bro. He's sweating, bro. like, it's like, you cut the heat up in five eight. <laughs> That's a good? I ain't tasted it yet. Right now, mm, what was it? <laughs> just respect. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Wait, you got a napkin at Ola. You got a napkin right there, baby. He said, fuck, this is too hot. Are oh, you killing them, Ago Joy? That shit's hot. I'm like, I'm trying to like understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Good money? This shit tastes like a waffle, bro. Nah, let me get some. It's not even bad, bro. Nah, you probably... Oh, nah, I need one of those. Yeah, let me get some. Yeah, that shit's that fire, bro. Wait, it tastes like you got syrup on it, or it just tastes like a waffle? Like, that filling is like syrup. No way. <laughs> I think it's the filling is syrup. It dead is. See the brown shit? Jen got me into Pop-Tarts, because I dead-ass didn't like Oh, you like Pop-Tarts? We went to Buff. Mm-hmm. College one day, and she kept getting pop tarts from the every day. I'm like, what the fuck did you give me a pop tart? The cinnamon, I just the cinnamon is the best. Still bad. I don't know. I don't like this. You don't. Mm-mm. Okay, so it's two four one, not four. That should that should stay. It probably got. It's not the only. best in the world. It's not bad. It tastes like weird. It's not bad. It just tastes like a waffle. That mm-hmm. right. I want to try this shit. Though. I don't even. Okay, like open it. Try. So we're gonna try now. Cocoa Pebbles, candy bar. Uh, it should look good. I ain't gonna front. Now I'll eat cocoa pebbles. <laughs> nah, me either. Mm. Yeah, that shit waffle should be. Oh, it's a big piece. Ain't <laughs> took more than. Yo, y'all really like. Jim could not take it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These shit is fire. <laughs> Trash or was it good? Bro, why is the chocolate like so like out of mm. bro? Good money? Yo, it's the best one. Yo, this shit is fire. Bro, 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 bro. Mm. Yo, let me try, let me try, bro. Nah, 
Nah, this probably is the best one. It's like actual milk chocolate. Nah, that's nah. <laughs> y'all want to try one more? Oh, y'all good. Hmm. What about fruity pebble one? Birthday cake. Birthday cake. It's like white white chocolate. You right? can still have the birthday cake. Nah, this shit just fire, bro. Where am I? Got it here, fire. I can take you. Yeah, you could. Nah, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> My question is, where you got this shit? Uh, listen, man, they, they send a lot of stuff to apartment 5H, man, so, you know, a lot of times. He talking. <laughs> he talking. It was crazy. I was down at the deli today. I caught this shit, Why bro. Why is it called Zesty Ranch, though? Try like, it. I don't like Zesty. Like, like Zesty Ranch, though. I had these. I had Jim taste these, too. This is the What's ginseng that? joints. I don't know what the fuck those are. They yeah, these are ginseng joints. I have to pick this it's up. good money, right? Yeah, I Yeah, the ginseng joints. We had these two. Fire. The ginseng joint. Yo, don't finish my chips, bro. Oh, you mean the chocolate stuff. <laughs> How you like that one? Oh, wait, let me, let me try that. Now, you got to take another. What is that, Skittles? Ginseng Skittles. It's not good That's shit. not bad. What is that? This shit is fire. It's not better than this one, though. The Cocoa like, Puffs is like better. I mean, Cocoa with, Pebbles. Without the sugar. Wanna try this? Nah, I would've tried that. You straight? That. I'm straight. <laughs> I gotta get that taste out of my mouth. Oh, wait, is this white chocolate? Yeah. It look like white chocolate. Let me taste it's it. birthday because it's fire. Let me take some more last piece. I got another little baby joint for y'all. Taste that and tell me how you like it. Still tasting up. Yo, the Skittles. <laughs> it's like my mouth is just mad. Nah, it's sour. Taste. Yeah. It's like, no, it's actually not sour, but it is. Oh, like, it's not like a sour aftertaste. I don't know how to explain it. No, no, no. It's just mad like sugar in my mouth. It's good? Hey. Yo. Snigger, bro. Chill, gang. <laughs> Snigger. I like the other one better. The, the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he tucking that one. He still got it. <laughs> Look, <laughs> ta -ta. <laughs> yeah. So anything you want, shout out your Instagram. Tell them how. Uh, tell them the name of the, the project and tell them where they could, you know. First of all, I want to shout out the farming. Five H. Is all right. Five H for having us. You heard. Yo, right. shout out the farming Five H, bro. I ain't gonna lie, these snacks. Go on, you can find me on Instagram. I am outside. Fire. We outside. The real gen caught on IG or. Yo, they took my IG, man. Follow my backup, bro. Kyle Rich. Yo, sorry. IG soon come back. I'm about to try this zesty soon ranch. Soon come back, bro. That's what's up, man. All right. Maybe we go on over there and throw some beats. Yeah, we, we throw some beats on? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Let's right. throw, some beats, on, let's let's throw some beats on, man. I fed y'all. Now let's throw some beats on. How about that? Let's go. Let's get it. Yo, where you, where you getting these snacks from? That's what I'm going to take a chance. Kra! That's what I'm talking about. That's what it's going to be, It's called a take head. Kra! No, I said it already, I'll say it again He on my dick and he got no house How you with him, they call you a mouse And that bitch is a daddy, she breaking it down And I stay with the now when I bend Niggas shred it and talk out they mouth If I catch me an op, then I'm laying them down 41 is the talk of the town I got a knock with a clip, it get heavy If you pop, nigga, kick me a Chevy I put niggas on, I think niggas forget She had thought she gon' sleep with the telly You get shot in your belly, not keeping it steady And my weapon, my only possession Niggas dissing that shit up, bro. If you smoking on bro, we gon' teach him a lesson Keep that aggression S send him to heaven That little boy's a bitch If we see him, we fiendin' That shit ain't no question Turn off my feelings I keep me a switch Niggas dissing They pull in the ditch Like I might oot If I shoot, I don't miss And if Tata with me I might catch him If I'ma let him pop If I see him, put him in a box Oh, he keep poppin' shit I let it pop Like no vaccine I'll give that boy a shot Big 41 on my back What you telling me? Niggas know that I'm jumping up uh, Niggas they envy They can't be ahead of me Throw up the dub I do it for my bros And I been spending my money on clothes No little yacht is he driving a boat I catch a hit in the sound like limbo Leave out the state Niggas know I get low Damn, lately I feel like it's everyone shot Nowadays everyone got a knock Like at the top I ain't choking no crap And there's no GTA but I stay with my Niggas looking I might start flogging the shit Bad bitch like shopping the shit She gon' pop it and lock it and shit And this bottom up full one bopping it Niggas saying this all full shot in the shit So I stay with my grip Like if he diss an Adam to the list I don't know what I did for God, why would you go to the game? Like could've captured me shot out his friend Like, I'm trying to catch me an M They came with Lafayette and think we were Ben Fuck Evil intentions, I see through a road So bro, I don't want you to crash up They call broke when I got that coat Came home, just got me a new gun Bro, up first, he ain't letting them do nothing Cut him down if he think he a shooter They gonna be ready to oot out his scooter God Bro, got the stuck on a Vuga 
Like this, bitch, cop.